Okay, it's time to get real with Robo. I've been watching all these videos about Gilroy, California and the Garlic Festival shooting. Everybody seemed to be afraid to say, oh, if I say the word, it was it was uh, connected with Islam and, and Muslims and and all that and Sharia law. I'm I'm going to be called an Islamophobic. Well, you know what? Call me an Islamophobic. The term does not exist. According to the psychological community and the AMA, Islamophobia is not an actual phobia. However, Trump derangement syndrome is. So let's get real. The boy, man, whatever, he was 19 years old. He did the shooting. Okay? He slipped by the guards. It was a gun-free zone. That's a fact. He slipped by the guards by, I guess, from what I'm hearing, he done went through a creek and cut through a fence and went here, there, and everywhere and slipped through. The gun he had is illegal in California. Illegal in California. So they say that he went to Nevada to get that gun. Well, that's great because you know what? California has a law about that too. It's illegal to go out of state and buy that gun and bring it back into California. So what has that taught us? There's gun laws in place already to stop it. Illegal Lee obtained this man had a gun that was illegal in California. Criminals don't listen to laws. Let's say it with me. Criminals don't listen to laws. That's why they're criminals and charged with crimes that are considered illegal. Wow. Now, on to the next thing. He was an Iranian. I don't care if he was mixed with Italian. I don't care if he was mixed with Mahudama. I don't care what he was mixed with. He was an Iranian American. That is what he identified as. And the left is going to have to suck up respect what people identify as. Because on his social media, he identified as an Iranian American. So that's what I'm respecting. He was Iranian. Period. And the book that he posted last about, Might Equals Right, is anti-Christian, anti-Judea. And if you read books, you would know that. Now, what's the only thing that is anti-Christian and anti-Judea? Because, see, it ain't atheism. Atheism hates it all. That's right. It's Islam. Very good. You're doing well. But, but if we say if it, 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 it's Islam and, 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 and it promotes and, and it promotes violence, then Islam must be violent. No shit, Dick Tracy. It is violent. Islam and Sharia law are violent. And it's not a religious quip against them. Because Islam and Sharia law are not religions. They are practiced mainly by a religion, which is Muslim. And I have no problem if you call me a xenophobe, a typical whatever, a racist, whatever, blah, blah. Please call me all that. And we can get to cracking in the comments. Because I get really than real deal holy feel with you. The man, because he was over 18, therefore legally a man, identified as an Iranian American. Therefore, we will respect that he was Iranian. He obtained the gun illegally. It doesn't matter 
how he did it, what he did to do it, where he went to get it, he obtained the gun illegally, therefore against the law that was in place. So when you idiots talk about gun laws, there was a gun law for that. And guess what? The criminal broke the law. Wow. You don't say. Moving forward, he shot and killed three people, including two children, in a gun-free zone. Gun-free zone. No one was allowed to have guns in that gun-free zone. So when you cry and bitch and say, well, it, you know, they're going to say if everybody was armed, that would have happened. They couldn't be armed because proper gun owners respect the law. Legal gun owners respect the law. Criminals don't respect the law. So you're supporting criminals, morons. Now let's get real about this. The only thing I care about, simple fact, a six-year-old boy and a 13-year-old girl got killed that day. The adult, I feel bad for. Honestly. But those two, they didn't even get a chance to live their life. We didn't even know who the fuck they were. And y'all busy yapping the fuck about this man who clearly broke the laws. Gun laws, every other law, believed in Islam, propaganded for Islam. And you're calling names and doing all this, and ain't nobody talking about this six-year-old boy and this 13-year-old girl. What about them? What about the other adult that lost their life? Why do we always focus on this stupid shit? Instead of mourning our dead. So let's get real. Let's get really real. Those two kids, they just started out life. I have a 13-year-old daughter. She going through it right now. Because she has so much in her life. Can you imagine this little 13-year-old girl... She was at the garlic festival, enjoying her day, drinking her little soda, watching the music, enjoying it. And then all of a sudden, her life was ended. You didn't know if she planned on, when she got home, getting on her little tablet and ta chopping it up with her little friends. You didn't know if she had a boyfriend. You didn't know if she was well-loved, well-liked, or hated. You didn't know, who, you don't know who the fuck she is. Because don't nobody focus on that. That little six-year-old boy. I have four boys. They all more older than six years old. But when they were six years old, they was worried about playing. He was probably running around, enjoying himself, getting into trouble, touching things he ain't supposed to touch, looking on the ground, picking things off the ground, being a typical little naughty boy. And then all of a sudden, his life was ended. Nobody knew if maybe that little boy had plans, wanted to go home that night and have daddy's grilled burgers and some french fries. Nobody knew that. We so worried about this Iranian fucking American goddamn idiot that illegally obtained motherfucking guns and killed these people. We ain't worried about the people. We ain't celebrating their life. Y'all put focus on, oh my God, the gun laws need to, be, oh man, we need to ban guns. No, they had laws against guns. That particular type of gun. And going out of state and getting that particular type of gun and bringing it back in. Do criminals listen to laws? No. And because of that, two children lost their fucking lives. But you focusing on, oh, well, I think, it, you know, I'm scared to say it was Islam and that he was an Iranian-American and I'm trying to twist the story to this. 
That bastard was a bastard, a murderer, a self-righteous, selfish, individual bastard. That's all we need to know. He illegally obtained guns. That's all we need to know. He fucking put down propaganda for Islam on his goddamn post. That's all we need to know. What I want to know is who the fuck the children was. What they were planning to do in the school year. Who they was. Who the adult was that ended the life. Had their life ended that day. That's what I want to know. So whoever can dig up that information for me. Get real with me. Tell me about the survivors. Who got injured. I want to know their lives. I want to celebrate their lives. I want to pray for them. So that's all I got to say about the Garlic Festival shooting. An Iranian American who believed in Islam and promoted Islam murdered two children, one adult, and injured others. He did that by illegally obtaining guns and not obeying the gun laws in California. That's all I got to know about his ass. I don't even want to know his fucking name. Put it to rest. Stop being scared of your own shadows. Stop being afraid you might get censored. Tell the truth. Because the less you tell the truth, the more they tell the lie. That's the facts. And if you don't like it, well, I don't give a fuck. But I'm going to keep it 100% real. And that's real with Robo.